my crafty friends, my name is Jenny and today I'll be showing you how to make these origami little roses bracelet. The rose was designed by Carlos Bocnegra. He is one of my favorite origami designers at the moment on Facebook. If you want to go check him out, I'll have a link to his Facebook page. He makes such beautiful creations and this is just one of them. He was also the designer of the Rosebud Petal and Calyx, which is a tutorial that I made last year. So you can check that out after you make the little roses bracelet. Let's get started. To make the Little Roses bracelet, you're going to need a square sheet of paper. This is a 4 inch square and it's purple on one side and white on the other side. I'll be using the purple to make the rose and the white to make the leaves. you also need a tweezer with a flat tip, some ribbon so that it will wrap around your wrist. This is 29 inches. Of course you don't need that much ribbon, but I thought that the longer ribbon would give it a more elegant look. And finally, you'll need some form of adhesive. I'm using a glue gun just because it's really quick, but you can also use regular craft glue. Start by folding your square sheet of paper in half diagonally so that it forms a triangle shape. Unfold, and then repeat the same thing in the opposite direction. Unfold, and then you want to fold the sheet of paper in half. Crease it in. Unfold, and then repeat in the opposite direction. Now you'll notice that there is a diagonal crease on the left side. You just want to lift this top flap and fold it over to the left side along that diagonal crease. Crease it in, and then fold upwards to flatten. Now you're going to push inwards on the right side towards the center like this. And as you're doing that, you're going to flatten it from the bottom up. Now you want to make sure that this opening is facing down or facing towards you. And then you want to take one of the four flaps, so this one for example, and you're going to fold it diagonally so that it aligns with the vertical center crease. So fold it diagonally and crease it in. Then go ahead and repeat the same thing on the left side. Flip it over and repeat the same thing on this side. So just fold diagonally to the vertical center crease and crease it in. Now you're going to unfold slightly these two flaps and then you're going to stick your finger into this opening right over here and with your opposite hand you're going to flatten like so. Then repeat the same thing on the left side. So stick your finger into this hole and then flatten. Now flip it over and repeat the same thing on this side. So unfold the two flaps slightly. Stick your finger or hand into this hole right here. Push downwards and flatten. Then repeat the same thing on the left side. And you'll notice that on these flaps there are two pieces. You're going to fold the right piece over here backwards like this. And flatten. Then fold this far left corner right here back like this. Flip it around and repeat the same thing. Fold the far right side back. and the far left side back. And now you should have something that looks like this. So then you're going to lift this top flap and you're going to fold it upwards as far as it will allow you to go. And once you've done that, you're going to crease it in. And then you're going to take this and you're going to fold it diagonally to this bottom side right here. So fold it diagonally and crease it in. And when you crease it in, you don't have to crease it in all the way. You can crease it in from this point all the way down on the left side like this. Then you want to unfold and repeat the same thing on the right side. So fold it diagonally to this crease right here. Fold it diagonally and crease it in 
just on the right side, so from this point onwards. And then unfold. And I'm going to highlight the creases that you just made so that it's easier to see on camera. So now you're just going to pinch at the top over here and give it a little squeeze. And once you've done that, you'll notice that it's starting to form this little triangle shape. And once you have that, you're going to push downward slightly on both sides so that there's this little thing protruding upwards at about a 90 degree angle. And once you have that, you're just going to fold it over to the right side to give it a little crease. And then fold it over to the left side to crease it as well. And then protrude it upwards at a 90 degree angle. And then place your finger into this opening right over here. And if this opening is too small for you, you can use a tweezer. But you just want to put your finger in here. And as you're doing that, you're going to flatten with your opposite hand to create this little diamond shape, like so. Once you have this little diamond shape in place, you're just going to fold it upwards as far as it will allow you to go and then flatten. And then unfold. Then you want to fold this flap over to the left to get it out of the way. And then you want to repeat the same thing here. So again, you're going to fold it upwards and crease it in. Fold it diagonally. Crease it in on the left side. Unfold. Fold it diagonally on the right side and crease it in on the right side. Unfold. Give it a little pinch right at the top until you form this little triangle shape. And once you have that, you're going to squeeze and flatten like this. Fold it over to the right. Fold it over to the left. Put your hand or finger into this opening right here and then flatten. Then fold this upwards and crease it in. And unfold. Now you have two more that you need to do, so you're going to fold this over to get it out of the way. Fold it up. Diagonally on the left. Unfold. Diagonally on the right, unfold, squeeze it at the top, crease it in, fold it to the right, and then to the left, and then stick your finger into this hole. So again, it's just the exact same thing that you did before. I'm just going it over multiple times just in case you missed it the first two times. Just like that. And then fold it upwards. And unfold. And finally, you're just going to work on this last flap over here and do the exact same thing. Have everything done you're just going to flip it over to this side and you're going to spread out the flaps a little bit like this and while you're doing that you want to put these little spikes here downwards and spread them apart so open it up and spread them apart and then do the same thing to this one and also this one and once you've done that you want to graph on opposite sides and you sort of want to fold down a little bit so Pull it apart and fold it down slightly and then flatten like this. You're going to keep spreading it apart until you have this square shape at the bottom with four spikes sticking out from all sides. And once you have this shape, you're just going to flip it over and place it on a flat surface. And you want to take your tweezer and place it right at the center of the rows and twist clockwise. Now on this first twist, you want to make sure that you get a really nice curl and just keep twisting it like this. And once you have this curl, you just want to push downwards a little bit and release. And once you release it, you'll notice that there is a little spike at the center and so we don't want this point here. So we're just going to open it up slightly again. So with our tweezer, we're going to uncurl it slightly and then we're just basically going to push downwards as we're curling the second time and push that little spike inwards. Hold for a little bit and then release. And once you've done that, you can spread apart the base 
and then you just want to curl the petals a little bit so I'm going to curl this back just like that over here you want to curl that also this point and this point as well and don't worry if the rose gets a little loose you could just recurl it back again later and once you're satisfied with your rose, you're just going to place it at a center of a ribbon using a glue gun or any type of adhesive that you want. Then I'm going to take the completed bracelet and tie it around my wrist. And now your bracelet is complete. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please hit the subscribe button to be alerted when new tutorials come out. I have videos coming out all year round. Leave a comment below letting me know what I should make next. And don't forget to check out Carlos Bocanegra as well. I would also recommend trying to make the rosebud petal and calyx. Go ahead, check that out, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!